In the last few decades, where we're starting to see people like me getting diagnosed with cancer in the 30s, not 60s, because cancer used to be an old person's disease, like heart disease, we're starting to see it in the 30s. We're starting to see multiple sclerosis diagnosis in the 30s. You know, my 28-year-old just got diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. So we're starting to see this acceleration of aging. What ages us? What is it that turns these DNA cells on and off? Yeah. Well, it's actually very simple. Um, we have protective genes in our body. We call them longevity genes. And the ones that I work on uh, have a special name. They're called sirtuins. Um, but there's this, this group of genes that uh, we can turn on by living the right lifestyle. Mm. But unfortunately, today's increasing uh, sedentary lifestyle, uh, obesity, lack of exercise, um, and even the things that we're exposed to, such as DNA damaging agents, these accelerate the aging process. And our bodies become complacent. You know, we, we, we like to feel safe and, and not exert ourselves and not be hungry. And we live a life now where we don't have to run ever. Mm -hmm. We don't have to go hungry usually ever. Um, and these are the worst things because they turn off our body's defenses against deterioration. And it makes perfect sense because we evolved, our bodies are meant to be under adversity. That's how the life was. It's so counterintuitive though, right, David? You would think that we would want the bodies to be resting more and not be pushed. And it's good that our temperature, we can control it now and have it at 72.5 if that's the temperature we desire and that we can eat food anytime we want because we have that's a pantry and a herd stock. You think that those would be the things that would make us live longer. You're telling us, uh-uh, it's the exact opposite. You gotta stress your body. Yeah. Why? Well, Why do we need to stress our bodies to make them live longer? Well, so the term that we use is called hormesis, and that, that means anything that doesn't kill you actually makes you stronger and longer live. And the reason that, that our bodies are set up that way is that we can't always be fighting disease um, because that's a trade-off. The body likes to use energy for other things, uh, like dividing cells, making your skin grow really fast, and reproducing so it's a trade-off what are you going to do with the food you have you can either grow fast and multiply or build a stronger body mm. and if there's a lot of food around and we're not exercising the body says hey i don't need to defend the body i just need to do this other stuff and it'll, it, it will divert all your energy into non-survival mechanisms but if you, if you run for 10 minutes a day or, or are hungry during the day, you'll actually get your body to put more, more effort into defending against diseases um, and protecting you against the, all those hallmarks of aging that I was describing. Um, and so really, a, a little bit of adversity in, mm. your, in your body goes a long way.